Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ was also yeah. in human form. In human form that's that's where it comes in with the Trinity because the Holy Spirit, he also has the Holy Spirit. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. So, clarify for me: Is Jesus Christ God? No. He's, he's, he's not God. The son of so. He's the son of yeah. Okay. So then you can't disagree with my statement. God wasn't born. God doesn't have offspring. Can we move on? No, no, tell me, tell me, because no, the thing is... We believe that God does I mean, have that's offspring, what we believe. God's only son is what he gave to us. Yeah. Okay, so... Because God, God had God, children. God, God had he a did, child. He had he a child. He, he didn't have a physical. Because God, God doesn't present, he can only be presented in mm -hmm. a different form. That's a human form. That's how he's presented. Jesus Christ is what God, but God is represented in Jesus' human form. Say that again. Like, I'm going to pay attention. Go on. Like, God, God is God. We don't have pictures of God, but God is presented in through Jesus, Jesus. through Jesus Christ. And that's how it like, comes. Represented? Or Jesus Christ is God? Because no, did Jesus Christ come as a messenger of God, as someone who was yes. sent yes. by God? Yes. So then God doesn't have offspring. Because right now, you're going to get caught up on the word, um, the child of God. Yeah? But are the disciples referred to as children of God? Yeah, yeah, but as a whole, we're all children of God. I'm a child of God. I would say I'm a child so, are you an offspring of God? I'm not, it's, I'm not an offspring. It's, I think it's just a, a way of saying that you know God loves us all equally in His eyes. You know what I mean? So, does God have children? Does God have offspring? He does God have, have nieces yeah, God and nephews? God does God have, have nieces and nephews? No, but Jesus Brothers Jesus and sisters? Is that, that is very... Jesus God is, has nothing God to do with... Have, he, God, is not, God is not human. He's not the same as us. He I agree. Have, Thank you. Has, that's, by the way, that's the full verse. Yeah, that's the full verse. That uh, there's nothing comparable to God. Yeah? So, we don't worship the Creator. We worship the creation. Yeah? So, we're saying... Don't compare the Creator with the creation. So, you're saying Jesus Christ being offspring of God. What kind of action? Like, if Jesus Christ, there's a difference between being of God and being the child of God and being the child of God. I'm going to repeat myself, yeah. Mm -hmm. does, does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So, are you not looking for something? No, 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 that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. So, would you say Jesus Christ, uh, like, so going back to what I was saying, sorry, very quickly, Jesus Christ, I mean, does God have offspring? Because if you're going to conflate the two words where Jesus Christ is the son of God, but then there are other children of God, yeah, then it makes it a bit of a non-point. And I'm saying, what's yeah, easier no, to digest? I, just think, I mean, I we believe God chose, everybody. God chose Mary yeah. because she was, she was she the only one that was, one. she's the chosen, but she was the sinless one. Yeah. So Jesus was given birth through Mary. Muslims, Muslims, all, Muslims all, all we affirm. God, in a way, we're not his offspring, but all children. We as Muslims affirm Mary was pure. Mary um, gave birth through Jesus without any male intervention. Um, it was a miraculous birth. Yeah. yeah, and she couldn't have done that without God. She can't just give birth without her through, through the permission of God. As a Muslim, we don't have an issue with that. But we're not saying that God has offspring, God has partners, there's an equal to God or there's... Does that make sense? Because when you say Trinity, because again, we're, we're kind of going all over the place. We need to kind of decide. Like, build, build. I don't think there's one decision. I think because there's... Exactly. No, no, no. What's your religion? opinion? My opinion is Go on. that we are all children of God. If you are a Christian and you follow yeah. God's teachings, the biblical teachings, yeah. you are a child of God. You're seen as a child of God. I'm a child of God. We're all children of God. But I wouldn't say all as in every single religion because every single religion. No, no, leave every teaching. single religion. So right now, you're all children of God. So are you all the offspring of God? No, we're not the offspring, but we are. But then, it's metaphorical. That we're it's the metaphorical. Of God. Yeah. Then is Jesus Christ metaphorically the child of God? No, he is the child of he God. He is the child of God. Because um, God created him in a way because it wasn't um, Mary. Be wait, wait, based on what? Where, where, where are you getting this belief from? Based 
from the teacher. The Bible. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Where, where in the Bible, like specific? You don't need to give me references like, because we'll just have an informal from, conversation. Like where, where? Back up explained. with something, and then I'll see if it's in the Bible. No, no like where it explained because um, she was pure. She was the chosen one to give to give birth to um, the son of God. The son of God. No, no other woman can do that. No other woman on this earth can get pregnant with, without just, a milk. But Mary was the only one. Therefore. He is the son of God. You know the Quran replies to this argument and it says um, Adam was born, was created without a male or a female. Eve in the Bible, in the Quran known as Hawa, um, was created without a female. Yeah? So do you worship Adam, peace be upon him? Because he was made in a special way. Yeah, he was made in a special way. But I don't, I don't worship God. I mean, I don't worship Jesus. You don't work in the, in the Bible. Then he's not only, God then. He's, he, not, he's not God. But then you have to reject Trinity. Does it make sense? I have, no, you can't. I don't. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to reject Trinity. Yeah, I here it is. God. Um, God. Angel Gabriel, he gave the message to God. Uh, no, not to God, to Mary for the favor of God. And like it says that he will, um, she will bear the son of the most sick. Sorry. Nice one. Of the Most High and the Lord God, so like that. There's telling. Where, us where, where's the reference for that? It's in. It's what the angel said to. Um, yeah, but where, where, who, who, who are you calling? Where are you getting that from? Specifically. From teacher. It's from our teacher. Hello. Yeah. But at the end of it, I think. And by the way, sorry, go on, I'll let you I just think that you know, I wouldn't dismiss Trinity because that's what I was raised on. By the way, I'm not. I'm not forcing no, you. No, I'm not I pressuring you. I'm not burdening you. Like, but what I'm trying to say is. How can you have contradicting beliefs? One minute you're saying Jesus Christ isn't God. Yeah, but can I say something? I'm so, so let me just finish this point. Um, one minute you're saying Jesus Christ isn't God. Yeah, and I agree with you. Then you're saying you believe in Trinity, which yeah. necessitates, which means that you believe the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the co oh. they turn to the same. Yeah? Then, um, as the conversation would continue, I can show you verses and evidences where Jesus Christ there's a difference between him and the Father, him and God. And he himself is saying that in John 17, 3, that the only true God and the one that was sent by him. So then at least, because before we go to is Jesus Christ the Son of God, like we need to build on something. It's either the Trinity makes sense or it doesn't make sense. Um, the Bible, we need to follow it per beta or we don't follow it. Does it make sense? So it's, just, it's going all over the place. So, my point is, you can't one minute say he's the son of God, yeah, and he's not divine, and then next minute say, no, he is divine. And then kind of lean on the Trinity. And then, um, go on. I just feel like everything contradicts each other. I'm, I've never what, what contradicts each other? I'm, I can't really, I'm not really someone that, I've read the Bible, but I, don't, I couldn't quote anything from my head, but I'm just going to say that in every holy book, I believe there is contradiction, and at the end of the day, no, no, you can't. You can't make that claim. You can. You can speak from the perspective of the Bible, but have you read the Quran? I have not. I have not personally read it. But have you? Then how can you say that there's contradictions in it? So do you think there's no contradiction? There is no contradiction. The Quran categorically says it's from God, Allah, and Allah will preserve it. Yeah. Now, if there is a contradiction in the Quran, I'll reject it to be a fabrication. It's not from God. If there's a single mistake in it, because my creed as a Muslim, there's one God, God created all of us with a purpose, told us what that purpose is through prophets and messengers, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, the prophet Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. After they die, the message lives on through a perfect book, which is the Quran, which is a perfect revelation from God. God is a master of all things. So when the Quran talks about science, it gets it right. When it talks about history, it gets it right. When it talks, makes prophecies, it gets it right. Yeah. So what, you say the Bible doesn't get it right? Or the Bible contradicts it? It, it uh, does contradict itself. I'm saying, I, I agree but at the end of the day, I with you guys that there's man-made elements gone into it, there's contradictions in it. I feel like there will the always be an the argument. The teachers of the Bible, there will always be an argument. That's why yeah. right. so so you're going to come up with people that are different. We are agreeing with what you're saying, we understand where you're coming from. I understand where you're coming from. There's going to be people that you're going to meet. And at the end of the day, if you follow the commandments, you will live a good life. It doesn't matter if if the Bible contradicts itself. you're saying... You're saying you're following the Bible, it contradicts yourself. You're getting the commandments, you're getting a way of life, 
of what to do, what not to do from a book which you've already said contradicts itself. It does, but so at the same time, <coughs> it tells us who, okay, then who should we follow? A book that contradicts itself or Jesus Christ's teaching? It to me because if I'm following the Ten Commandments, at the end of the day, God is still God. And if you're okay, enough, Ten I'm, Commandments. I'm What's the first commandment? commandment? What's the first commandment? I don't know what the first commandment is. Google it, Google it, Google it. The first commandment. I have the Ten Commandments. The first of the Ten Commandments. And then I'll show you how you're not even following it. Like, nobody saw and died. I can't even... Yeah. Where are you guys? Do I need to come? Are you the same person or different people? No, she's no, not. Now you guys got a big crowd of people, that's how I saw you though. Yeah. Yeah. I am the Lord God. I am the Lord thy God. Wait, spell it. No, 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 it says it's starting in six minutes. Okay. Um, thou shalt not have no other God beside me. Right. Yeah? So, how many gods is it talking about? Is it saying Trinity? G Moses never taught Trinity. I mean, he doesn't have to say Trinity. Anything is really about Trinity. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? I just think... I respect your... You're right to believe what you want to believe. But where is that belief coming from? And is that belief going to take you to paradise or hellfire? Is your belief contradicting what Moses taught? Yes. Because Moses did it Trinity. Is it contradicting what the Bible taught? I mean, what Jesus Christ taught? Yes, because Jesus Christ never taught Trinity. Yeah. Now, look, this is an ongoing conversation. Go home, do your independent research. Does it make sense? I'm not here to like insult you and kind of undermine Christianity but I'm just saying wait why do you believe what you believe if Jesus Christ didn't teach it if Moses didn't teach it and then you're saying the Bible has contradictions in it but then even the Bible didn't teach Trinity I, I do understand it was, it was it was great I mean you gave me a different insight on no, no, thank you can, can I can I give you a Quran oh yes please yeah, yeah? Can I give you one more for your two friends as well? Yeah, thank how many, you. How many do you want? It's free of charge, by the way. Um, can I have two? Yeah, two more. I'm going to give you two thank more. I'm going to give you this. And yeah, thank you. Let me just bring it for you. So, I want to Would you be curious to read the Quran? Yeah. yeah there you go. Is it, is it in English? It's in English, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, you. I saw you guys got a big group of friends. Yeah. On your way back, if you guys want more, it's free of charge. All right. And if you've got any questions, we're here every Saturday. Thank you so much for being thank so friendly and polite. I appreciate nice. it. I don't shake hands with him. Oh, my apologies. Okay, sorry, my and just very quickly, that's because for religious reasons, if you're not like my sister or my daughter, I don't have the right to touch you, basically, oh, okay. unless we're in marital right, relations. God bless you. You take care.